Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Governor Mike Pence is noncommittal on whether Indiana will support the future of the Hoosier State Passenger Rail Line with state dollars. Pence is shifting responsibility to local communities along the line that runs between Chicago and Indianapolis. It's going to take an ongoing partnership with all of the communities along the line to be able to do that. And I think the communities that stand to benefit uh, from uh, the, the Hoosier Rail Line uh, uh, should participate uh, in supporting that line. Federal funding for the Hoosier State Rail Line was cut off last year. The state and local communities along the line reached a temporary funding agreement that keeps the route running through October. But Indianapolis has announced it will no longer contribute funds. The state is replacing Amtrak, which currently runs the line, with a private management company who is expected to make the line more cost effective. The state is developing treatment rules prompted by legislation which significantly limits how much drug addiction treatment medication patients can take home. Federal law caps the amount of methadone, the most commonly used medication to treat drug addiction. Legislation the General Assembly approved this year requires the state to create rules that cap take-home amounts at seven days regardless of treatment time. The bill does allow for exceptions. If the seven-day limit poses a particular hardship on a patient, the cap can be raised to a 14-day amount. And police are investigating two robberies on the Beeline Trail within the last week. The first robbery happened last Thursday, and the most recent incident happened Monday. Police say both robberies happened late at night and half a mile away from each other. More officers will be patrolling the trail, and anyone in the area is urged to carry phones and report suspicious activity. Quick check of the weather tonight, 59, mostly clear, and some rain in the five-day forecast on Friday, with daytime highs reaching up to 82 degrees.